So before I begin, I'm going to go on what I call the Ravel rant. Um, Ravel is sort of new to the Star Wars genre of model kits. Um, before, it was predominantly dominated by a company called MPC that was later acquired by AMT Ertl, and most of the kits from The Empire Strikes Back and uh, Return of the Jedi were mostly MPC Ertl kits um, without just the sole MPC name on them. Um, this particular X-Wing is a Ravel X-Wing that came out in 2006. It's in an oddball 165th scale. And this actually isn't a bad kit. As we take a look at it here, uh, this kit is actually pre-painted. Um, I didn't paint anything except the engines on the back of the model here. And I painted those in a, a, a Tamiya metalized gunship gray. Um, the only thing I really did to this model is I just put a, an acrylic wash on it just to bring out the detail of the engraved panel lines. Um, the figure inside leaves a lot to be desired, but uh, what do you expect for a $12 model kit? He's, he's a vinyl figure. The uh, cockpit opens and closes. Um, R2 does come out, but um, this particular base here with the Death Star tiles, um, these are actually from a company called Shapeways that does 3D printing. Um, these, to me, look like they're a 3D scan of uh, Bandai uh, Death Star tiles. And if you've built any of the Bandai kits, you know that these uh, look remarkably similar to it. Um, about going back to the, the kit, this is a very good model kit. One that uh, uh, I took to contest a few times and, and got a couple awards with. You know, it's, uh, it's not a showstopper, but it looks pretty good on a stand. So for as far as a Ravel X-Wing goes, this is actually a pretty good X-Wing. 